I get to style some really wonderful women with my virtual styling, but also during my live digital shop your closet sessions where we shop people's closets live and in real time. But it's very rare that I actually get to do it with some fellow content creators and my fellow creators on the podcast. So I'm in Copenhagen right now with Christina and Sina, and we just thought it would be a really cool opportunity if we shopped our travel capsules for a look. So this is a big challenge challenge, but I think it is also a really cool way to stretch your creative muscle and really embracing the opportunity that limitations can give you. Because I truly believe that creativity is bred from limitations and constraints in most cases. If you like this kind of topic or video where we shop our closets and we learn how to break outfits and fashion into elements of style, then you will love my live virtual shop your closet event. It is essentially very similar to this kind of video except it's more interactive so we break out the looks together we have two guests who are live and we shop their closets for some inspiration looks that you receive in advance so that you know what's coming and that you can also recreate the looks at home using what you've already got and you just get to see how these elements of style are broken out in the context of someone else's style and someone else's body and all that kind of stuff so i will leave all of the information and details in the description box below let's jump on in shows this look here for us to all reinterpret using what we've got in our travel capsules. And before I do that, I always like to just break up the look into elements of style, things like texture, color, proportion. So that way we really start to decouple personal style from consumption and fashion consumption. So this is really fun to do if you want to reduce your consumption, but you're not sure how. The three of us are going to break down this look, but my sort of overarching interpretation of all of the elements that are present within is number one, the oversized, really like relaxed feel of this whole outfit. I like the mix of textures, the wrinkly cotton of the shirt with the roughness of the denim paired and contrasted with a really nice smooth matte wool. And the leather of the booty is really cool as well. And I think it's very subtle because when we look at this outfit, the first obvious element is this like these big, beautiful overplay on proportions. You know, not only are we looking at volume on volume with the oversized shirt with the oversized denim, but we're also looking at long proportions over another long proportion, you know, like a very long hem pant with a long hem shirt and a long blazer. So by normal standards, we would look at this and think, oh my gosh, this is like very difficult to replicate, but we're not replicating, right? We're not carbon copying a look, we're reinterpreting it. And I'm so excited for you to see how the girls have reinterpreted this because it's all different and hopefully you'll get some tips from each of us. But those big oversized proportions are really really what makes this look sing, but it's actually the tension and the contrast between the fittedness of the blazer and these oversized proportions and the slim fitted definition that we're getting from that black pointed shoe. So not only are the proportions really being played with, like we're getting this contrast of volume and relaxed fit with these defined elements like the blazer and the shoe, but notice that the shoe is black. That's underscoring the contrast of those two proportions even more, right? Because because we've got a really light look on top with the sharp dark hit on the bottom. I think there's also a really interesting color play happening here. We've got a very light, soft contrast outfit on top, right? Like it's a mid-wash denim with some cream and white, and then a really like dark hit of black on the bottom. The hair is nice and loose and relaxed, which I think really plays into this whole look beautifully as well. And styling hacks, you know, she's left everything kind of feeling a little bit undone. The hair, the shirt, the blazer is kind of like, you know, she hasn't even cuffed her sleeves at the bottom of the blazer everything is really nice and loose and undone. So if we're taking all of these elements and we're reinterpreting them our own way, I think we can come up with some really cool looks. So let's jump on into the girls and my interpretations of this look as we see them from our travel capsules. Sina, how Hi. are you? This is so exciting. Yeah, yeah. We've shopped your closet. My little limited travel capsule. Travel capsule, yeah. I don't hope that this counts as cheating, but I found this Tommy Hilfiger shirt in the thrift store yesterday. So I thought, so why good. not throw it on? It was like perfect for the outfit. Have a look at our photo. And what were the yeah. elements that drew you to it? Because everyone sees different things. Um, I really like the slouchiness of the outfit. I think that's what I'm immediately drawn to because I always want to stay comfortable. Like that's yeah. the most important thing. I like that slouchy, flowy kind of vibe yeah. about this look. And then I like the way she's kind of balanced it with pointed 
toe shoes, slick yeah. back hair. So they're, I feel like even though it's rather like big and oversized, there's great balance in the look too. So that's what I kind of wanted to try and replicate, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so maybe talk us through. What are you wearing? How did you style it? I didn't see if her shirt was open underneath. No, I like I, how you did that. I don't know if it was, but I just okay. feel like it kind of offsets all of the big layers. Mm -hmm. I love um, this. I've been really inspired by Christina. She's mentioned like the TB big slim skin mm -hmm. styling tool a couple of times on this trip and I want to like explore that whole thing a little bit more. Cool. And I think you don't have to follow it religiously, right? No. right? So, but I feel like it's a great way to figure out how to balance things, especially if you are wearing something oversized. So if I were to close this, mm -hmm. like that's definitely a look, but I feel like I'm kind of swamped by yeah, all Yeah, it's a bit too stuffy, isn't it? Yeah, so just having the waistline highlighted here and then the bit of skin here here, the v-neck t-shirt. Mm -hmm. I feel like that kind of offsets the slouchiness of the outfit and then also the slick back hair. Yeah. That's what I always do myself and when wearing like super low-key oversized clothing I'll always slick back my hair to like balance things. And then the jeans, these are a pair of Everlane uh, way high jeans. I bought them in a size up from my usual size and then just the longest possible length so that they were nice and like baggy. Mm. And then just balancing out that with the pointed toe shoes. So I feel like this is more of a event kind of out. Like if I was okay. gonna go out for dinner or like if I'm out having a speech or something, this okay. is the kind of look I would wear. If I'm just going to work, I don't know if I would wear the sling bags. Maybe I would swap for a pair of pointed toe boots instead. Okay. Make it a little bit more everyday. Okay. Or I would go for a pair of sleek sneakers and i wasn't sure about the blazer actually but now i kind of like it yeah you were you, just before this you were like oh i don't know if i would wear the blazer yeah yeah as the overpiece but i do feel like even without it and then just like show off a bit of the wrist i feel like that's always a nice way yeah. to balance out when you're wearing a really big piece yeah and then just leave it open yeah i think it, you know you could do this but then it i would seems definitely bit... show the wrist but even this like gives that slouchy yeah line yeah do you put this together before like the open shirt under the blazer or with the no, thing no i wouldn't so Without, i feel like that's actually okay. a nice and that's a nice way for me to learn because like i said this is a new like thrifted find yes. so it's like okay well maybe that's the way that i could wear it yeah instead of always like the traditional just a traditional button no. amazing thank you for shopping your closet with us thank this is so fun yeah it was fun yeah thank you for having so me. good and so good to see like a little copenhagen thrifted find in there yeah yeah well done us okay thank you. bye thank you okay. Ciao. christina I have Christina here, so exciting. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Oh my God, I'd love to be here in Copenhagen. So fun, I know, yeah. can't believe it. <laughs> Christina, you shopped your closet for this look, but- My carry-on, yeah, oh, my carry-on. <laughs> shopped your carry-on, I love it. When I showed both of you this look, Sina and Christina, like you both were like, yeah, I love this, I can do it. Like, what was it that drew you to it? I just love that it's really relaxed looking. Mm. Um, like her hair is back, but it's a bit, actually undone, I could pull out some pieces here. I love the ultra oversized button down that's underneath the blazer that's a little bit more oversized than the one I have on right now. I love this little sort of wide leg, maybe flare denim at the bottom and then it just sort of tying it all together in terms of proportion with the pointed toe boot. I love a pointed toe. If you want to experiment with oversize and it just feels a bit too much, then I think having like a slimmer shoe at the bottom, pointed toe, almond toe, whatever it is. For me, I love a point, but like something slim at the bottom, I think it helps sort of lighten and elevate that look a little bit more so you don't feel so weighed down and mm -hmm. just a big ball of fabric. So the big thing for this That's look sweet. for you was the proportions, like the really yeah. cool balance of proportions. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Oh, just it's chill. And yeah. then like the relax silhouette yeah cool okay I haven't worn this top the entire trip so this is kind of fun that cool. I have the opportunity it's just a button-down shirt whenever I wear button downs typically I like to wear them on their own I really don't ever pair it with a blazer so this is something new for me mm. but one thing I don't really like is having the collar of the shirt outside mm -hmm. the blazer it feels a little like I don't know Miami Vice to like me corporate or like a corporate a law and stuffy. order I wanted it tucked in and that way kind of and I'm also just having some skin open here I always like to have a little bit of skin showing with a more menswear kind mm -hmm. of piece and this is a blazer that I have from Timmy that you have this little like peep through there's slits Cute. in the sleeves these jeans are from a goldie they're a Ooh. little slim baggy jean they're a black jean so that's all I had don't be afraid of a wide leg denim <laughs> these aren't even that wide leg but it's kind of like wearing a wide leg trouser mm -hmm. so so I would just say if you want to experiment, you know, and you are used to a wide leg trouser, try a wide leg denim just to like make it a little bit more, more chill. And then these boots, they're really comfortable and they're from Tibby and they are so good. And I like that they add 
They're shiny patents. They add a little right. bit of nice texture to, I think this is an otherwise fairly like matte kind of look. So that's just a nice little tip. If you're putting a lot of like flat textures together, try to find mm -hmm. another texture, like a sh something like shiny or fuzzy or icky and mm -hmm. like something with some, some gumminess or something mm -hmm. to it to just play into some more depth and texture into your look. So it could be like a bag, a belt, a shoe, mm -hmm. even your jewelry. Yeah, um, totally. It's a nice way to play with that. So you said that this isn't a combo you would normally put together. So like, when would you feel like, comfortable wearing kind it? Kind of like Cena said, like a, doing like the layer of the button down under a blazer. It's just mm -hmm. not something I, it almost feels like too many layers or yeah. like too structured stuffy. stuffy i liked what what cena did with like she had the t-shirt and then this open yeah. and then the blazer and then i think this blazer is just a little bit slim like i can feel but i would probably go for just like a slightly more oversized blazer and that's where I would that's where okay cool yeah all right amazing thank you ciao, ciao. <laughs> i've got my wide leg trousers <laughs> these are a little bit more like tailored and structured than our inspo and what i'm doing is almost like a little bit of a reverse we've got two tailored pieces like the black blazer so this is like super structured super like tight on the arms with one piece that has the relaxed elements. So here we've got the texture, it's untucked. So the styling is really making this feel a little bit more relaxed. And I wanna point out the difference between when you have a shirt tucked in and when you don't. My boots, they're not pointed, they're round and chunky. So they're not as elongating. But the reason why this still works and why my body doesn't feel as truncated as it would, like Christina, on her look had the long pointed black boot to create that nice long visual. And on me, I'm using the sleek fittedness of the black blazer. I'm not getting overwhelmed here because the blazer is so structured. And I really wanted to bring attention to this because as you saw, Christine and I used similar proportions in the sense that we had our shirt untucked. You know, our first instinct could be, oh well, I don't have wide leg jeans or I don't look good in wide leg jeans. So this whole look is gonna, is just not for me. It's gonna make me look or feel frumpy. But that's where I would challenge you to think again and understand that it's not about this one garment. It's not just about the wide leg pants that you can't use your other clothes to manipulate your situation. So I mentioned that the tailoring is really nice and fitted, but also look what's happening with the black on black. We've created a really good column that almost like camouflages the eye into creating this nice like white piece here. So it's it's keeping that definition in, in more ways than one via the silhouette, but also just the visual proportions like this. I think that's it. I think we're good. So that is what I have for you today. A huge thank you to Christina and Sina for lending their closets and their time and their just general awesomeness to today's video. A huge thank you also to, I apologize, I'm gonna butcher this name, to the Brigen, Brigen Guzman Hotel for hosting us and also for providing like for just it being such a beautiful backdrop to today's video and all of our Copenhagen podcast content. It's been an absolute joy to stay here. I will leave all of the details for this hotel in the description box below. We were hosted here, but this has sincerely been one of my greatest hotel experiences ever. And I will actually most likely be seeking them out in their other locations because it's a true pleasure to stay here. Thank you, thank you. So many cool people to thank in today's video. And uh, my editor, as always, I don't normally say thank you on camera, but Leah, thank you so much. You're fantastic. Okay, and thank you for watching every time. Thank you, thank you so much for being here, for watching the channel. If you liked this video, if you learned something new, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to go follow Sina and Christina if you are not already. You can also follow our podcast. We've got a YouTube channel too. I'm gonna leave everybody's wonderful details in the description box below. But in the meantime, I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful evening, afternoon, wherever you're at. And I will see you in the next slow fashion video. Ciao.